Hey. <laughs> Sweet, thank you. It's so nice and cool right now. Mm. Hot. Hot. So if you wonder why I'm hand nailing this, it is because I don't want to damage the forms. If I use a pneumatic nailer, it's going to imprint the forms. You can see the nails are slightly in, no marks. This is kind of ideal here. This will be below grade the first four feet, so that won't really matter. But everywhere else, and then we're going to have to go along with the caulking gun. And just touch up the seams a bit. We want everything to be nice and flush. But this is a lot of repetition, just like most things in construction. So we'll carry on with the forms here and work up this side. Oh well, yeah, just a little explanation on that. And then I'm also tacking the seams. As I go up higher, I think I'll be able to block them out in the back just to make sure everything holds together and doesn't separate during the ramming. There it is. So the formwork for the first wall section. You see we've got end cap in place, strong backs, all the whalers. And then on this side, We'll be loading up from above the bank with the skid steer and the mix and go. A little hard to see, I'll go around that side, but the top panel's off on that side. Around to this side. And we've got this end cap. I've got a little build out there for the insulation, so when we connect the next section of wall, we will be able to slide it into the wall. With the rigid insulation in with spacers and a whole bunch of steel all the way through and all the holes in the ends of the forms are to uh, slide through the horizontal steel. So I'm going to put this end cap on, but let's actually go up here first. Holders for the vertical rebar, little jigs put in place for that. And we'll be loading from this side down into the forms. And I get the lovely job of climbing down in here and ramming all the earth. It's going to be hot.
be okay. What's that? Should be okay. Maybe even be a little bit. A little wetter than that, but it should be okay. Okay. Hey, so today is going to be an exciting day. We have some signs made up for our veggie stand, which is underneath the Hobbit hut, which Michelle is working hard to set up. She's over there in the garden somewhere, which we're on our way to see. And then way over there, behind this good steer, We've got our first rammed earth wall that is poured, and I'm going to be stripping that today as well. We have a bit of smoke from some fire somewhere in Michelle's garden. Oh yeah, Jojo is off leash now, loving her life. Oh, having some troubles here. Why is the gate so janky? There we go. <laughs> Where is this woman? Look at this place. Tomatoes, radishes, tomatoes, sunflowers, beautiful wife. <laughs> Propping out. Mm. Time to sell some veggies. Mm -hmm. What are these flowers? Marigolds? Yeah, those are tall ones. I didn't realize they were going to be like as tall as me when I bought them. The seeds, but they're like, they're amazing. Look at how many buds are there. Do I have yellow too on the other garden? Cool. Look at all the tomatoes coming. Like every single, and they're, every single plant is a different variety of tomato. Can you name them all? No, but I have the tags in. Those guys look like peppers almost. I know. And you know those tiny little Misha Magic tomatoes? Like those tiny ones that are yeah, yeah, so uh, good? I'm about 99% sure that the birds are eating them. No. Yeah, not in the greenhouse, thank goodness, but out here. These guys over here. Yeah. They're just teeny. And they're really delicious. They're so good. I wouldn't doubt that they would, they like them. I haven't been in here in a while. There's a lot of things happening. 
more flowers, squash, squash blossoms. We need Robin to make us those squash blossom things oh, again. No. Those are so good. <laughs> Carrots, onions. I can't name Carrots it. Are yeah. Another week, I think. Cool. Cool, man. <laughs> So we are about six feet down in the hole and then this wall comes up to 12 feet from top of footing, which is going to leave us about seven feet out of the ground on this side. And I gotta say, I've never been so tired from working. It's pretty labor intensive, but also sorting out the process and I think primarily the heat. So we've got the top layer on there. We're gonna pop off all these braces. First the cross braces and then I'm gonna try to use the turnbuckle braces just to pop it back on each side and free it up and release the forms but quite a bit of parts and pieces to take apart before it will actually come apart ways down there better get at it